Okay, we're all set, uh, Tim, to, with the uh, rope race. It'll get exciting. And this is the open rope race. Tim Top, Richard Langford, along with you here in this. And there's going to be 11 horses go down. Only 10 ropes, Tim. I can see nine ropes. Oh, then somebody scratched. So we have 10 horses, nine ropes. Now we're down to nine people and uh, eight ropes. Now the fellow that just got beat has won this race a few years ago. Uh, there's a couple of other exhibitors in here that uh, have won this before. Uh, you'll watch 465, that's Jim Jerkoski, and then his son, uh, 780, Jeff Jerkoski. They're kind of famous for getting down to the finals. So we'll see what happens right here. A lot of times the men root for the men and the ladies root for the ladies, but only two ladies in this event here today. These ropes are about four foot long and are usually a couple of feet above your horse's head. That 1082 was eliminated. That's Austin Peacock and like C.F. Patrick, his horse. Yeah. He got down there and he got squeezed out, and uh, that's what happens. Sometimes um, they buddy up. This is noted, Tim, uh, for kind of a physical race. And if you go back to the old timers, uh, they would do the things as pull your bridle off, they would spur the other horse. They have been known to cut the cinches on other horses, but we've kind of tamed it down. But I like the two girls staying alive. And this time for 32s, the out one, that's Jockey Socks and John Wilson. Yep, he just got squeezed out and there wasn't any place for him to go. Just kind of keep your eyes on the two Jerkoskis. Uh, they're, they're pretty tough. And we're not down to where a lot of the jockeying goes on. Everybody right now, Tim, runs to stay alive. But you got to be careful of the five-second line. They may go over. And we have one that went over. One jumped the light. You can see the uh, horse the light. light yep. yep. Now the judges have to make a decision, and they have to call who went over. And they will. And if you're the guy that went over, you're not going to let them know you're the one that went over. Let's see who it is. Oh. The former world champion just went over. Jeff Jukowski and Caillou Spirit. So we're down to six riders. And uh, about now we're going to do a little shoving. Somebody's going to shove one way or the other. It's a five second start. You don't want to jump the line. They're a good, clean start. Kathy's in trouble. <laughs> well, Kathy Moss, <laughs> she just out muscled. Carla Peacock and one of the Brassies is the one eliminated <laughs> yep. there, right, Kathy? Yeah. Uh, and that's something you call luck. One thing about the rope race, Tim, you got to have a horse that'll come down, and when you ask for the woe, it's got to stop. If you overshoot those ropes, very difficult to turn your horse around and come back. They just won't come back to the ropes. So the trick is, you got to back your horse up real quick and get it. But that takes a lot of quick thinking. Now we're down to what? We got four Five. guys and a gal? Yep. Yep. Well, Kathy. The girl's still in it. Yeah. But Kathy's no stranger to this. She runs on the regional level. She got a bad start. Yep. Oh, look at that. Everybody scrambles for a rope. Somebody will get up out of their saddle. Watch this. Watch this. Watch somebody go up. Watch somebody. Kathy can't get her horse to go forward. She's got to get out and back up. Plus, it looks like the guys are kind of squeezing her away anyhow. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I tell you, this is a crowd pleaser. Uh, uh, it's something that's very, very unique with the Appaloosa Horse Club. And uh, I'm surprised we only had uh, 10 entries. Uh, normally, uh, we'll have maybe as much as 20, and we eliminate down to the 10. But now we're down to where there's four guys. Well, actually, they've eliminated... 232. Ooh, well, they saw something. Kathy's I didn't still see. in it. So, John Gillespie the third is now out. Yeah, I didn't see something. Something happened. I don't know what. That's why we pay the judges. Now, they might shove Cat. Well, he's out. He's out. That's automatically. He's out. We've had cases, Tim, where maybe four or five horses be left, three of them jump the line. Well, the world champions decided right there. And that's Ed Milhouse and State of D. Hart being eliminated. Well, we've got my pick still in there. He's on the white horse, Jim Jerkoski. I don't know if he won it last year at the World or not. If it wasn't last year, it was a year before he won it, but on a different horse. There's only been two horses that I know of that have ever won this event three times. One was Peblo Joe, and the other one was uh, Caliani Baldi. Because it's a kind of a tough event. 
Now, Jim. Yeah, and Jim does it. Kind of edges Kathy over. So Kathy Moss is out this trip with just be a dandy. This time they are eliminated. Great run by Jarkowski. Uh, Kathy thought she was going into it, and about the time she's slowing her horse down to reach up, Jim drives forward and reaches up and gets a rope. Now I'm going to say what's going to happen here. One horse is going to shove the other horse, or one horse is going to get his head cocked over in front this, of the other. And this will be Jim Jakowski. He's on the gray horse, 465, and the number 204 horse. Hey, here we go. See who gets... Yeah. Here's Robert Main and Zippy Impressive. Jim got in front of him. It's all over. Jim Jerkoski, Tim, uh, a very versatile cowboy in the Appaloosa horses. He's very versatile, can do a lot. He works in the cattle classes, can even run the games and stuff. It's executed here. Uh, he's a pleasure man, a halter man. He just does it all. Him and his wife are really great for the Appaloosa horse. So Jim Jerkoski and Captain Zip Ahoy, world champions in the open rope race. We now bring you this Appaloosa horse 